Hello, welcome to this nice series of our uh, actual RP, the introduction to actual RP mobile prototyping course. And the last um, series we looked at our splash screen, and also the next video we're going to be looking at onboarding. Um, the last uh, video we I skipped something, so we're just gonna name this page here as splash instead of home. So we're gonna say splash. And we're going to create another page called onboarding, which we're going to be using for our next, uh, we, we're going to be using for this tutorial, we're going to say onboarding, onboarding. And we're going to be making use of interaction from the splash screen to display our onboarding screen. Because if we preview our work right now, we can't possibly navigate to the onboarding screen without having to add an interaction. So we're going to go back to Actual 9 and we're going to add interaction to display the onboarding screen. But what we need to do is this, right? Because we've made the settings here with our styles here. We have the settings and everything. What we need to do is, instead of creating this page like this, I'll just delete this, delete all this page, and we just right click this and duplicate this page to um, another screen. So we're going to call this, instead of splash one, we're going to call this onboarding. The reason why we duplicate it is because when we duplicate it, we bring in every settings in terms of the font, in terms of whatever we've used on this page, it's going to be brought into the new page. So we don't need to do that again, it's especially the style, which is the size of the, the mobile device, which is this 360 by, uh, four, uh, by 640. But the only thing we need to increase now is the uh, the zooming area which is 185 so I'll just say 185 and we will snap this to our X axis and Y axis then what we need to do we need to remove the content here and what this site map is gonna look like it's on the same level so we're just gonna make sure that we have it directly underneath so that it shows in our site map that this is the first screen and then this is the second screen so what we need to do to add interaction to load this onboarding screen automatically is to add interaction on the splash screen and the interaction we're going to be making use of is going to be on page load now in action i we have this interaction here which is very handy so we can say um new interaction we just Click on this button. Um, now we need to to make sure that the, the page is what we are selecting. We are not selecting any of the widget here at all. So we just go to interaction and say on interaction, add new interaction and say on page load. As we can see, we've seen a lot of interaction here, event on page load. On window resize, on window scroll, scroll up, scroll down, on page click. But we're going to be making use of on page load interaction. So we click on page load and say, all right, what do we want to show or display on this page load? We want to display, we want to open a link, which is a window. So we open this link and we say on page load. Then it says link to select page. What page do we want to select? We'll say we want to select the onboarding page and then we click OK. Now, once we've done that, we can save our prototype and we can preview our prototype here. It says on page load and automatically it shows this but it's a bit fast as well so what we might need to do is to make sure that we had some options there so that we might be able to you know show it after some seconds 
so we say on page load here which is current window and we say link to this page and then we said and then we can add we can say this and we can add more option which is we can add another action here which is called wait the wait means that the page is going to wait for some seconds before the onboarding page loads so we can set this page here and it's always good to move this page up before the open link of the onboarding so we just gonna you know, make sure we have it as 1000 milliseconds which is fine and we can save that so once we save our work and we preview our work again it's gonna wait after some time and then it changes to the onboarding screen for us to show that we are on the onboarding screen we're just gonna drop a you know a, a text heading here and we say this is my actual rp9 mobile onboarding screen So we save that and we can go back to the page and preview our prototype and we can say on page load it shows this and then we have this page we say this is my actual rp9 mobile onboarding screen so that is how we move from the um from the splash screen to the onboarding screen now once we've done that what we need to do next is we're going to be working on how we design our onboarding screen so in the next series we're going to design our onboarding screen i'll show you the best practice on onboarding and we will continue our course thank you for watching see you soon